Hi, it's Elder, and in today's video I will show you how to create a multilingual website in Blogs Free. You know, the most popular video on my YouTube channel is a video explaining how to create a multilingual website in Blogs 2. And this month I have created 20 new video tutorials for my Blogs Master students, and these tutorials are covering menus. And as you know, when you build a multilingual website, its menu is the most important element. So I've decided to create uh, this video and share it not just with my Blogs Master students, but also with my YouTube audience. So in this video, I will show you step by step everything you need to do to create a multi page, multilingual website in Blogs Free. So I will be using the template from blogstemplates.com to create a multilingual website. And I think I will be using the freelancer. And we have two versions, single page and multi-page version. Of course, the single page version will be much easier because we can just create two pages, one in English and one in other language, and then just link each page to each other. But I think that it will be too simple for this video, so I will be using the multi-page version. So let's open it. And here you can see we have five pages. So this is the landing page. And if we click on one of the projects here, we will have the project page and then we will have services, about and contact pages. So we can take a look at the list of pages here in the right side. And of course, here in the page navigator on the left side. So what I will be doing first is creating the Korean versions of each of these pages. So my website will be in English and Korean. And to do that, of course, I will be selecting each of these pages and duplicating it and then translating it to Korean. So I will show you how to do that just for one page and speed up all of the other pages because you don't need to see all of that. So this is the landing page and I will select this icon here and click duplicate. And it will duplicate the whole page and I will click on the settings here for this new page I just duplicated and I will alter the page name which will be used for the URL of our website. So let's type home KR for Korean and for SEO title we can type anything we want to appear in the browser window or for Google to index for our search engine optimization. So let's select the Korean and type something like Type something like Hwanyong Hamnida, which is welcome in Korean, and click done. So at the moment, I'm using the source set to none. So all of these links, I will need to edit them manually to see the changes. Let me go back to the new uh, page we just created, and I will be quickly recreating all of this content in Korean. So as you can see, I'm translating each page into Korean and at the moment I have a few buttons on each page and these buttons, of course, are linking to the English versions of these pages. So let me first uh, duplicate all of the pages so I can right away link all of the buttons to the Korean versions of these pages. So right now we are on the contact page and this button leads to the services page. So what I will do, I will go to interactions for this button and switch from services for English version to services for Korean version. And so I have translated all of the forms here and all of the text. So I will go to the about page. Here I have some text and I have the contact 
me button so I will link it to the current version of our website and of course let's change the text as well so on the service page we have another button to contact page so let's link it to the Korean contact page and change the text maybe to something different and then let's go to the home page and here we have the four projects so I didn't duplicate the project page yet so let me quickly duplicate it Okay, so now I have created all of the pages and all I need to do is just link all of these thumbnails on my home page to the new project page I have created. And as you can see here, I have four projects and they all link to the same page because, well, it's a template. I don't need to create the page for each of these test projects. So I will be just linking them to the project KR, which is the page I have for my template. As you know in blocks everything above the blue line it is the global header area and everything below the second blue line is the global footer area. So these areas will appear on all of the pages on our website. So if we want to have the different footer what we can do of course is duplicate this footer, translate it to Korean And let's duplicate it again, the current version, and move it back to the dynamic area. And we can do that by selecting the block and move up. You can see we have this options command up or down to move the blocks. So now this block will appear always on this page. It means that we don't need two of these, right? So let's select the settings for our page here and disable the bottom global area and now as you can see we have the Korean footer for this page. I will quickly do the same for all of the other pages. So now we are on the home page so instead of duplicating we can just move it up to the dynamic area and disable the footer and now we will have five pages in Korean and each of these pages will have the Korean footer. So for the English versions we can just use the global footer area which has the regular footer we have created in English so we don't need to change anything there. So we are almost ready for the most important part which is actually creating the multilingual menu. So right now we have all of these links and they all link to the same English versions of these pages. So let's create the second menu and it will be using of course the Korean links. So let's duplicate it and now we have two menus and I will actually change the text for this logo as well to Korean. So for this template I'm using the manual mode to adjust the menus so as you can see the source is set to none but if I wanted to use the menu manager I would go to the menu manager here create the second menu and I will name it Korean and I will add all the links for Korean menu but it is too long for this video I think so let me just create these links manually Okay, so now I think that our menu and our freelancer text is ready. So let's connect each of these links to appropriate pages. So for the services in Korean, I will be connecting them to services KR. For about, of course, I will connect it to Korean about. For Yolakcho, for contact page, I will be connecting that to Korean contact page. For the logo itself, I will be connecting it to the home Korean version. So now, I won't be using these follow links here and I will replace it this drop down menu. So let's type the drop down and we have a couple of options. I will be using the button drop down and right away I will align it to the right and 
you can design it any way you want. So you can have the name of the language here, like that, and then type the options below here. So for example, English, and for the second link, I will be using Korean. I won't be styling this because it's, it will take too long. And if you want to learn how to style it, you can check the mastering blocks update I have released for this month where I show in detail how you can style and change the style for each of these uh, menu items. So for the English version and for the Korean version, of course, we will need to link it to the right page. So right now I will just leave it as it is and I will do the same for the English version. And for the second menu, I will actually do the same. I will type in Korean. And this is, of course, the Korean menu. So instead of English, we need to have the language here. And we can use any type of design here. For example, we can even use the built-in emojis. And we have a few flags here. So we can actually use this flag here if you want. Right now we are on the Korean homepage, so let's duplicate this and move it back to the dynamic area. And I will quickly do the same for all of the pages. So we have copied the Korean menu to all of our pages, so we don't need to have the English versions on the Korean pages, so I will do the same I've done to the footer and disable the top global area for all of our Korean pages. Okay, so now we have the Korean version and English versions ready. And there is just one thing we need to check before finishing our website. And it is, of course, we need to check all of these links so they connect to the right page of our website. So at the moment, they all connect to the same home page set by default in blocks. So uh, what we want to do here is go to each page and make sure that on each page these buttons are linking to the right page of our website. So there are two ways we can do that. We can set these links to always go to the home page for this language. So for example, even though we will be on the about page, we can go to this English version here. So we are on the Korean homepage and we can link this English link to the English homepage. Or we can link it directly to about page in English. People might be on this page and they think, okay, I want to read this in English. And by clicking on this button and clicking on English, they will be brought directly to the English version of this page. So the first method will be simpler because you can only change it to two pages and it will be easy to do. But if you want to have the automatic translation for each page and you want to link these links to the exact page in other language, you need to go to each of these English pages as well and move and duplicate the menu to the dynamic area because on each page we will need to have different links here. So this is home page in English. So we need the English button and English link will be of course linking to the English version of this page and the Korean link will be linking to the Korean version of this page. So that's all we need to do here. And of course, I will disable the top global area for this page. So now we have linked all of the links for the English versions. Let's go quickly through each of the Korean versions and make sure that all of the links link to the right pages there as well. Okay, so we are done here. Now let's preview what we've got in a browser. And we have everything in Korean. When we select one of the projects, it will bring us to the current version of project template. 
and when we click on the English link it will bring us to the same page in English when we go to any of the items here of course it will navigate through the English versions because we are on the English version if we want to change it once again we can just click on the Korean and without switching all of the content, all of the images, only text will switch to the Korean version. And all of the buttons, everything we changed will be working perfectly. So thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions or need help with anything, please let me know and I will do my best to help you. And if you want to watch more videos like this, check out my Mastering Blocks free course, which is the ultimate resource for blogs users who want to master their web design skills with blogs free. So once again, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.